JJJ, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Listen, codingface.com, man. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. Because your boy is back and I'm doing my thing out here just for you guys. Listen, so we're going to learn Ruby, right? Okay, so we're going to go to codecademy.com. Remember, guys, we're just learning the basics of programming. Like, this is not going to teach you how to make a website. But this is basically the foundation for you to be able to learn how to program because a lot of you guys are having difficulties. So I'm like, you know what? Let me walk you guys right through it, man. I'm gonna hold your hand through this whole journey. You dig it, boy, man? All right. So we're gonna do this like this. We're gonna go to coacademy.com. Let me start recording. I'm gonna start recording the screen right now. Let's go. All right. So we're gonna go like this and basically do, uh, for me, I'm going to log in. Okay, I'm already logged in, right? And then for you guys, what you guys are going to click dashboard, right? And basically it's going to, or catalog, it's going to bring you here, right? And from here, you're going to click on Ruby. When you come to Ruby, just, you know, sign up for the class, start it, it's free, right? And basically, it's going to start right here for you guys. So it's basically giving you a little sneak peek what it is. It's saying, hey, Ruby is a high level language, which is weird because when you would think high would be like really like the bar is high and it's like super difficult. But in reality, in like programming languages, high means easier and then low level languages actually mean harder. So. I don't know, it's backwards, so it's weird. So, it also means it's an uh, interpreted language, meaning you don't have to actually uh, compile the language and do a whole bunch of stuff like, you know, C Sharp or like Java and all these other languages. And it's also object oriented, meaning it allows users to manipulate data structures called objects in order to build and execute programs. We'll learn all about objects later okay cool and it's easy to use all right i don't know why skype is throwing freaking windows man god damn it all right so let's start so pretty much what it's saying hey welcome to ruby so this is a comment right comment means a comment is just basically is you can write on your code a comment and it won't run on your console so i can come in here and say hey Okay, guys, all right, and that won't actually run. It won't show anything here. See, now, nothing is running, all right? So, start next lesson. So, right here, let's say an example. In Ruby data type, data types can be numbers, strings, or booleans, all right? So, what the hell does that mean? It means you can basically say, hey, a variable is basically, let's say my number, right? My number equals 25 and my Boolean equals true. And let's say my string equals Ruby. What the hell? I can't type today. All right. So my string equals Ruby, right? So what the hell is going on? In data types, pretty much what you're saying is, in this variable, my number equals 25. So what you're saying, hey, in this, it's like a nickname. Think about it like this. It's like, okay, uh, my name is Joe, but you know, you guys could call me Coding Phase or whatever, or call me Joe Santos or call me whatever you want. But that's like a nickname, right? My real name is Joe, but then the nickname is actually coding phase so you can say something hey for this nickname for example nickname my num equals 25 so at any moment you could actually call up the nickname of the other person and basically say hey uh i nicknamed this person my string and it's equal to ruby or i nickname my name is equal to joe whatever you guys want to do so let's say uh, my nickname equals to Joe. Just to break it down even more, imagine a box and then you label that box and say, hey, this box is called my name 
and inside of the box is the name of the person, right? So now whenever you want to actually get the person's name, you could just say, hey, let's look into the my name box and then the name of the person is in there. So let's continue with this. All right. Okay, variables, right? So this is exactly what I just told you guys. Imagine just a box and then in that box, we're gonna call it my num. And then inside of that box, there's the variable. You know, this whatever you wanted to call it. You, it could be a string, it could be a boolean, it could be uh, any type of data type. You know, true, false, it could be a number. And what you're basically calling this little box, you know, quote unquote, little box, is you calling it my num. So you're saying, okay, my num equals to 100. So inside of that box, there's a, a number called, you know, a number uh, 100 inside of it. So pretty much, the, you see it says, declaring variables in Ruby is easy. Just write out your name and then pretty much use the equal sign and then assign it whatever you want it to assign. So let's say set the variable num to the value of 100. So that's what we did right here. Click next. All right. With this, with math, you can actually do math with Ruby, right? Just like any other programming language. So pretty much you got the plus, which I haven't done here. So let's say five plus five. And then if we wanted to do this, let's see how much that will give me. It's 10, right? So you just pretty much, you could do math with it. You could actually do a string and basically say, hey, uh, let's say my name, right? Equals Joe, right? So I use a method called dot length, right? That's what's going to tell me how many characters are inside of that string. So there's three strings in there. So I can say, oops, I can say my name times three equals two, nine. Yeah, you could use math at any moment, any time. All right, guys? So let's see the next thing. Let's continue. Puts and print. So puts and print is pretty much when you want to print something to the screen. Right now, whenever you see stuff here on the side, it means it's the code behind the website is printing out whatever variable you want it to print out. <coughs> that only happens on this website. Or you could actually do that on your own code and basically say, hey, my name equals Joe. So basically puts is going to print my is going to print my name and then print is going to print hi, I'm Joe. You know what I mean? So, you see, it's printing. The nil is just basically something that's being returned. Right now, this, nothing's being returned from this. So that's fine. So don't worry about nil. All right, so let's go to the next thing. Okay, everything in Ruby is an object. Inside of a data type, right? There's things called methods. So imagine like this, numbers, strings, and booleans, which is true and false, basically they have special functions inside of it. So those special functions means that you basically have extra things inside of it. The same way how we use joe.length, it basically inside of the, that string is basically saying, okay, count every single character inside of this string. So it's like little functions that is inside of every single, every single data type. It could be a function, could be a, a number, could be a string. And you're going to learn that as we go. And I'm explaining it to you guys the easiest way that I can explain it to you guys. All right? All right, guys. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. If you want to support the channel, just click on the links below. And basically click either on the Amazon link or you click on the Udemy link. So whenever you buy an item, basically like a little percent, I think it's like 3 or 4%. We get it back over here at the channel and we could actually help out other developers. Bow.